Oh my god. Now this is this is that but extreme. Okay, I don't know if this is a good one. Hey Orgo, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are here continuing our little mini series checking out mobs that overhaul the Terraria classes. And we checked out a summoner one. We checked out a bow one. And now we are checking out a mage one, specifically spell tomes. Now spell tomes in Terraria, you know, there's a good bit of tomes in just vanilla Terraria. Not a lot, not a lot, but a good bit, a decent bit. Uh, I don't know if there's enough to do like a whole subclass playthrough. I think there is. You might have to get lucky though with the uh, water bowl or early game. But yeah, this mod adds in a lot more. I know a lot of people wanted to see a spell tome class, so here we are. Go ahead, leave some comments and suggestions of other subclasses that you guys want to see overhauled or have more stuff. For example, yo-yos, staves, sentries. Leave a comment. Let me know because we're going to be checking out and giving the spotlight to a lot of little mods like this that add in complete overhauls to a bunch of the classes. But yeah, let's hop right into it. We're going straight into the weapons this time okay we got some accessories some other items here but we're going straight into the weapons let's get to it i organized them by damage yet again of course that doesn't mean anything because maybe it has low damage but it does a lot of damage i don't know yeah let's get to it we have the mushroom murder we're not going to be looking at recipes just because there's a lot of tomes to look at so th that's a lot of recipes but yeah the mushroom murder shoots normal mushrooms at your enemies let's put it to the test here damn that's a whole lot of mushrooms this is a tanky slime, bro. I need to like start playing on like a new world for these videos <laughs> because this slime has so much defense and so much health. On to the next one. We got the money miracle copper. Fires copper coins in a completely random direction. Now I'm wondering, does this like take my money away? Or is the money part just like a, a little cute thing, you know? Or does this actually be taking my money? Whoa. <laughs> okay, so so far it's not taking my money. But uh this is a pretty cool attack. I like this. It's very unique. It shoots things everywhere. This might be good for crowd control or it might be good for like a moment where you get stuck in a panic and you need to just hit everything to get out of the way. On to the next thing, Earth Eruption. Shoots flaming balls of dirt. Ah ha ha. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, it's the Will Smith meme. I got it, I got it. Earth Eruption. Okay, not the craziest spell, but you know, getting this early game, I can see it being very useful, uh, especially since it does bounce off of things that can be very helpful in caves. On to the next one, Bee Battler. Shoots aggressive bees at your enemies. Hashtag rights for bees. Damn, we're getting political in this episode. Let's see it in action. Oh my God. So this is pretty much a bee gun, but a bee tome. Next up, strong seasons. Fires one projectile for every season. So what, four? <laughs> is that what I was trying to say, four projectiles? Oh, look, I, I think that's four. I can hardly tell, but it does do a lot of effects. So far, this is our like strongest early game tome to do a lot of damage to this line. So it's doing something right. Next up, we have another money miracle tome, the silver one. This time, it fires silver in every direction. So it's just a stronger variant of the last one. And I'm assuming this goes all the way up to platinum. And last but not least for our first set of tomes, we have the spiky summer. Shoots giant spiky cactus balls. Come back over here. There's a lot of giant spiky cactus balls already around. Are these the same? Oh, they're exactly the same. Look at that. So this shoots the same projectile that the strong season shoots. On to our next set of tomes here. Winter Wonderland. Two snowballs for the price of one. So we're shooting one, but it's doing double the damage i'm assuming that that's what i would assume from that description next up we got autumn aggression fire sharp leaves jumping into leaves is not so fun in the terror universe that's actually true i think i've had at least like one death ever from jumping into some you know spiky leaves and the crimson and corruption in in the jungle sometimes too the, those thorn bushes man they don't play they don't play especially super early game but yeah this one just shoots these i'm assuming these last couple of tomes we've been looking at they just all go into the uh strong season yeah they do okay all right next up we got the stinger storm fires exploding stingers that stick to enemies okay so pretty much like a plasma grenade sticky grenade or whatever halo call of duty whatever you want to reference it seems they don't explode when they stick though which is a little upsetting i thought that was gonna be the whole thing was they stick to something and then you know tick tock boom all right next up we got flame spewer like a flamethrower but it's a book it uses gel and mana oh that's another thing we could go over is flamethrower but let's check it out oh yes i like this one i always like flamethrowers 
Flamethrowers are cool, there's just not enough of them in Terraria, or not strong enough ones besides the Elf Melter and the actual Flamethrower itself. You know, I love seeing subclasses in Terraria, that's why I'm enjoying doing these videos. Because if the vanilla game doesn't add anything to the subclass, you know, that's what we got the mods for. Next up, we got the Harpy Hazard. Makes it rain Harpy Feathers, I feel like this one's gonna be very nice. Okay, so it's like a like a star fear. They do good damage though. They do good damage. It's a little bit slow. I thought it was gonna be faster. But this one I can see pretty useful for like say you're inside a building or something and there's like a monster on top of your building. It's like boom, you hit him easily. Next up we got the spring sprouter. Fires up venomous flowers. A little slower than I would like, but it's still pretty good. It does decent damage. Uh, I don't know about the venomous part. Like does it poison at all? I don't know. Next up we got the bomb bomber plus bone bomber. And it has a plus, which I'm assuming is there a first one that we missed i don't know uh fires four explosive bones at your enemies plus 666 percent attack power if you consume calcium in the last 24 hours damn do we have calcium in this mod pack do you guys think we have calcium in here let's see oh is that calcium oh calcium potion <laughs> who would have thought this book also has a uh, sands on it as we can see but do i do more damage or we're about to put it to the test oh this is what it okay interesting i didn't even read the description fire is four explosive well i did i just didn't remember uh apparently they're supposed to explode i'm not seeing the exploding part we're getting a couple of misleading tomes here but uh if i drink this calcium potion am i doing more damage well i don't know it doesn't feel like it. i feel like i'm being clickbaited some of you probably feel the same all right we are getting into the upper damage is here oh maybe they do explode it just takes a while but yeah we're getting into the higher damages here as you see 30 29 28 and starting with our first book here magic minder now does this look like something to you guys it looks like the minecraft books of course bones are just slowly gonna explode <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's get into it though. It says it shoots diamonds. Oh, of course, and they're Minecraft diamonds. You love to see it. Who doesn't love uh, Minecraft and Terraria references in each other's games? Am I right? And apparently they home too. Shoot strange diamonds at your enemies. It didn't really include the homing part. But yeah, on to the next one, the Icor Invasion. The power of the Crystal Storm and the Golden Shower combined into one. So this is a hard mode tome, and it should be really strong because the Golden Shower and the uh, Crystal Storm, those are both pretty good tomes. Next up, we got the Money miracle gold edition this time it says fires gold coins in a not so random direction okay so we're getting a little bit more accuracy as we go up and up let's see it in action here though oh yes that's some good damage we like to see that right there maybe we should try it on a hard mode enemy now okay okay not bad damage these are hard mode tomes so i expect them to do some good damage next up we got the cursed crystals power of the crystal storm and cursed flames combined into one so pretty much the same thing as the icorn invasion but the opposite crimson corruption you know how it is let's see it in action here though oh got my boy stuck in a pose he straight up got his hands up right there look at him he can't do nothing against this next up glowing mushroom murder you know how i love my mushrooms shoot glowing mushrooms at your enemies let's see it in action here Oh yes, just straight up mushrooms. You think this glows underground or glows in dark areas? Who knows? Next up, we got the Imp Invasion. Shoots a beam of fire. Let's see it in action. Here. Okay, it's just straight up a beam of fire. I don't know if this is hard mode or pre-hard mode. This might be pre-hard mode because this seems kind of eh. Next up, we got the Bone Bomber. The original? The plus? The plus is weaker than the original? I, I don't know. Fires explosive bones at enemies. 100% attack power if you can... Okay, we already got that. So uh, l let's do this. We're going to take our slime over here because I don't want uh, bones exploding back over there. And let's see it in action. So uh, this one does more damage or says it does more damage than the plus version, which is usually not how it goes. Uh, it also doesn't ex explode on contact and it shoots a lot less bones. See, that's why I have to bring up when I put things in order of damage, it doesn't exactly mean that that's the order you get them in. All right, so we should be getting really into some hard mode stuff. There's still a lot more tomes to go, but these definitely should all be hard mode, I hope. Starting with Halloween Horror. Shoot small bats at rapid speed. Let's see it. So this is pretty much like what? The bat staff, right? This is what the bat staff does. Very, very nice. It does good damage. You love to see it. Uh, next up, we got the Night Necromancer and the other Night Necromancer. And this one shoots four cursed balls of death. And the other one also does the same thing. It says the same exact thing. So what? Are these like... I would assume just like Crimson and Corruption variants of each other. But they look pretty much identical to each other. So I have no idea. Uh, it does not seem like it does a good amount of damage. And I'm assuming that's going to be for both of them. 
so I, I have no idea. Next up, spooky specter spell. See, when you're getting to the specter stuff, that's when stuff gets pretty good for a mage. Well, I don't, I don't know. Mage is definitely one of the higher tier classes. Uh, I put it up there with range. Definitely a top four tier class. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. But this one says it shoots seven homing specter bolts. Seven? Seven? This looks a lot more than seven. I thought it was going to shoot like seven at once. But you love to see when spells home. Look at that. Someone's a pet werewolf. Damn, that's a big ass pet. I got a whole damn werewolf. All right, next up, shroomite mushroom murder. But let's see this one in action here. What does it do? Shoot shroomite mushrooms at your enemies. So what, just stronger mushrooms? That's what it seems like. Uh, we got imp invasion plus, which is a stronger version of imp invasion. Shoots means a fire very fast in a random direction. Let's see it. Oh, okay. So still not the strongest, but this does make it a little bit better especially if you need to do some crowd control if you're in the middle of an invasion next up money miracle platinum this is what we've been waiting for a hundred percent accurate almost almost 100 percent accurate but that's good enough for me almost is good enough for me oh my god this thing is is pretty damn good this might warrant our first boss fight let's see king slime let's see the king slime get gunned down by some platinum coins now again I am playing in god mode, so I'm hoping that you don't actually need to fund this thing yourself. But at the same time, like, what is the recipe? Let, let me look at the recipe. Maybe you do need to fund it a little bit. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta do some sort of uh, exploit or something to get that. All right, here we go. These things should really, really be the tip of the top. There's only so many left. Starting with the library launcher. Wow, that sounds dangerous. Shoots clones of the book you're holding. So we're just shooting books. Okay, interesting. Next up, we got the combined crystals. The power of the crystal storm, the golden shower, the cursed flame combined into one okay that's that's a lot of combinations there that's like three or four tomes in one this thing better do some damage yes sir now that's the type of damage i'm looking for right there shadow stalker some is a shadow needle interesting oh okay so this is pretty much like the imp one but uh you know shadow slash curse flame version next up we got the razor pine revenge shoots three deadly pine needles when used Okay, so this is the Razor Pine, but like strong as hell. And the Razor Pine itself was already strong as hell. I remember when the Razor Pine first came out, like I fell in love with that weapon. That weapon was so good when that came out. Still pretty good now, but I don't know. I haven't played Vanilla Mage in a while, so a little hard to remember. Next up, we got the All Seeing Tome. Fires a slow moving eye. It sees everything. Even my browser history. I don't know about it then. Does this home in? Oh, it does home in. Uh, let's see the other one, which is the uh, Crimson variant. So it's just like most of these Crimson and Corruption variants, they're literally the same exact thing. No special abilities, which is a little upsetting because that's the whole point of like Crimson and Corruption variants is that they're different and they're unique. This, this is a little upsetting that most of these are exactly the same, just different colors. Next up, we got the Vortex Vanquisher. This has Vortex in the name, so this has to be strong. What the hell? I'm just shooting bullets out. <laughs> This is not what I expected from a tome, is to shoot bullets. Uh, it literally tells you it shoots bullets, but uh, I don't know. Are, are we a ranger? Or are we still a mage? I don't know. If you think about it too, summoner, we're summoning bullets. Melee because our hands are being used to hold the tome? Who the hell knows? All right, true knight necromancer. Call upon the six cursed balls of death. All six of them? There's six of them? I can't even see them all. This is not that strong, at least not against this werewolf. Also, keep in mind that we have like so many mods installed that enemies might be a little strong, especially since this is the world I use to kill all the bosses in Kanturi or bosses survive. So the enemies, they might be a little strong on here. Slap shooter fires a slapping hand with high knockback. Now, this is what I like to see. Imagine just slap camming people. You guys remember when people slap cam? Now, this is this is that, but extreme. And they explode if I don't hit them directly, which is even more extreme. All right, next up, we got the lizard lexicon. Shoots lizardian letters at your enemies they better watch out what they spell you know what i'm saying we trying to stay monetized on here okay i can't even read these letters i don't know what like language lizardian people use but uh it's it does not look like the cleanest it looks the same every time dude if i'm being honest hollowed havoc shoots sharp pieces of hollowed glass damn we shouldn't glass at people now terra tome calls upon the seven cursed balls of death here we go with the damn cursed balls of death 
I think I've seen enough of these. Next up, we got the Stardust Striker. Of course, didn't even read what it did, but it does good damage. Shoots debuffing Stardust grenades. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And next up, we got the Crafting Cultist. Fires diamond swords. This just doesn't seem right. Look at this. Beautiful. This seems perfect to me. If you, if you know this channel, you know this seems perfect to me. Of course, the diamond swords home in too, which makes them even better. All right, and we got our last set of tomes here, and then we'll go over uh, these things really quickly. But yeah, let's check them out here. True Hollowed Havoc shoots painful sharp pieces of hollowed bars we went from glass to bars these do not look like bars they look exactly like the glass quote unquote glass <laughs> Okay, mod could use a little work in uh, areas like that. Sometimes these tomes just straight up tell us lies. But yeah, all seeing tome plus, both of them. Let's see them in action. I'm assuming just like a stronger eye, bigger eye, I don't know. Seems pretty much exactly the same. The eye does seem to move a little bit faster though, I don't know. Moving on, Boulder Barrage has a chance to shoot two boulders behind you. Now you can kill the enemies with traps. How ironic. You love to see it, even though you are able to kill enemies with traps most of the time <laughs> but i like the idea of being able to randomly shoot two boulders behind me i kind of wish this was a little bit faster i don't know maybe if i was wearing better armor it'd be a little bit better next up daybreak drama fires daybreaks here we go again pretty much like this is pretty much like shooting the bullets the luminite bullets we're pretty much using a melee weapon but we're shooting it out of a tone <laughs> so i don't know are we still a mage at that point next up moon lords mega magic shoots a lot of projectiles i hope so I hope so. Oh, there's a lot of chaos going on, but also look at this. I control my own beam. So let me see this against a boss. I feel like this warrants a boss fight. Just to see like if all the chaos is really doing stuff. Yeah, it is. We'd love to see it. Then. All right, on to the next, the Nebula Charger. Charge it up or shoot it right away. Okay. So if I just tap it, we shoot it, but then I could charge it and it just gets really strong. Oh my God. Let's try the Eye Cthulhu. So let's get a bunch of these, let's get away from them. And then we're gonna hit them. Boom, damn, almost a one tap. You love to see it. All right, last but not least, here are our final two tomes. Space Sorcery, able to charge up a very powerful beam. So let's go ahead and see this in action here. Hold up, a lot of garbage on the floor. All right, let's see this in action here. Okay, again. Pretty much the same ability. This is so loud. Oh my god. I kind of don't want to even see that in action against a boss because it's so loud. And slash explode. 1018 magic damage. This is by far the strongest one. Let's see it in action. Uh, did I miss? <laughs> oh. It's just not even hitting. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let me see it against a boss. Maybe maybe the werewolf is immune, I don't know. Am I supposed to die or something? Maybe I'm supposed to die. Let me take off God mode, okay? <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a good one. Okay, these last two were a little upsetting, uh, but it's all good. Let's check out these uh, things that I didn't check out yet. I love that some of them went up here and some of them went down here. That makes it really fun, especially since I had them in order. So yeah, some of these things are straight up crafting materials. For example, the Book of Fire. Make some items into books. There's only a couple. After that, we got the Broken Hero book, which again, only makes a couple things. We got paper used to make books and scrolls. So this makes healing scroll, restores 199 life, it uses 50 mana, that's not bad. That sounds interesting. We got healing helper, restores two life, it uses four mana, trades mana for health. So I'm assuming, damn, you could just use these straight like this. And then the mana maker would be the opposite where you're losing health, but trading it for mana, no? trades time for mana what the hell does that mean time so the time of the day changes <laughs> and then we got the two accessories terrifying tome which gives us uh, just plus 25 percent magic damage which is an insane percentage and then we got terror tome which pretty much does the same exact thing but it is a material ah uh, okay okay i wonder if these stack let's see let me just take a random tome here you go vortex vanquisher and then let me just put this on so 71 
81 they do stack beautiful you love to see that but there you go that was the more spell books mod a lot of the spells were really really cool and unique and interesting but then a lot of them they kind of like lied to our faces and they didn't really do much and it's a little upsetting because with mage you could literally do anything especially with tomes there's so much stuff that you can do like you could just make up some bs and shoot it out of a tome it would work because that's <laughs> that's magical that's what a mage does so the fact that some of these are kind of just like repeats or they just shoot like fire out like this like that's a little upsetting like if you shoot fire out like this might as well make it unique i don't know make it spin or something <laughs> That's, that's my take on mage tomes. And uh, a lot of these things were very, very unique though. So don't get me wrong. But like things like this where like the all seeing tome, the crimson variant and the corruption variant are exactly the same. Like that's a little upsetting. At least make the eyeballs like look different from each other because like, uh, I don't know. It just seems like a little bit more creativity could have been put in there. And also add a couple more armor sets. We know mage could use a couple armor sets here and there. Uh, not too many places because vanilla does cover it fairly well, but there's a couple places where mage can use some armor sets but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the mod and again make sure to leave some suggestions for more classes you want to see overhauled slash subclasses you want to see overhauled thank you for watching the video i'll see you guys next time bye 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 bye, bye.